Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and to another unboxing video guys but a very different unboxing video. Now, if you've been following my channel for some time you will know of my dear love and passion for Blazes Evercade. And I tell you what, oh, this is a gorgeous thing. Yes it's an Evercade cartridge guys but it's a special edition one of full void which is a recently made independent game guys that is absolutely stunning by all accounts because i haven't actually played it yet because obviously i've just got it now these sold out everywhere at one point now they're back in stock again guys so this is your chance to grab them and i got mine from amazon now they had a big mock-up along the way and uh, a lot of them didn't get delivered so they've had more delivered and they're fulfilling things and they're up for sale again they were gone again in no time but then wow they appeared again on amazon so yeah they are up there guys keep looking on amazon so yeah this is very different to a normal evercade cartridge box and so on because you actually get this wonderful slip case as well now let's have a look at it first so here we are with it still with the plastic on which is why it's reflecting so badly but you can see yeah it's pretty different to a normal evercade cartridge there we are so you can see the Evercade cartridges in there. That's the usual type of box you would get. And it is, of course, cart 32. Wicked. So, yeah. Normally, I would get my trusty dusty knife out. But for obvious reasons, being a cardboard slip, I shan't do that. So I'm hoping that I can do it just with my nail and get the plastic off this thing. So, hmm. Where shall we go in, guys? I think... Using my nail, it doesn't really matter much. And some people will be crying as I do this because they don't want to open their sealed special edition. There is, of course, a basic normal edition as well, of another edition, if you like. So here we go. I'm going to get my nail in here. And hopefully I can break the plastic. That's what I'm hoping. Don't know if I'm having any luck here. Probably not. Now, of course, there is an art book in this edition. So we'll be taking a look at that as well. If I ever get into it, I think I'll have a hole. He says, oh, I should have just used my trusty dusty knife. After all, shouldn't I? But never mind, we're in, I think. Here we go, I don't want to damage anything it is. 
a very limited special edition yeah do you know what guys i'm going to get my trusty dusty knife as much as i don't really want to oh dear all in already with the hiccups right i'm back and i have my trusty dusty knife now i really didn't want to do this but i think it's actually a better idea than what i've been trying to do just now so yeah let's just get in there let's do it the blunter end down rather than cutting into something i don't want to eh? but are we in yes we're in for sure this time definitely definitely in this time i just hope as i say that i didn't cause any damage right here we go i can lift up the plastic a bit this time see with the heart wrenching moments here guys of how i damaged it or not and all that but no i think we're fine guys i think we're in and we're probably fine I don't think I caught anything. We've said trusty, dusty. Now we wouldn't be very trusty and dusty, would it? If uh, yeah, there we go. Plastics off, guys. Hey, hey, there we go. And we're in. So now we can see this box a lot better now. The beautiful artwork on there, the gold lettering of Everkid, uh, <laughs> and. The bits at the bottom in white, of course, where it says full void. There we go, full void art book included. So yeah, what a cover, guys. Just take that in for a sec. Wow, beautiful looking cover. I do like that. <laughs> where it looks like some tortured soul there at the bottom. Then the face, of course, of the main character. Ooh, I'm going to come and get you all. But yeah, really, really wicked. Love it with the gold lettering. Love this slipcase full stop. There we go. Then we look at the back, guys. Here we go again in silver lettering there at the top. And it tells you the whole kind of story there. I'll pull it in a bit so you can actually kind of read that. Then we've got silver borders around the stills there. Cool, a lot of uh, different languages. And then down to the bottom here. With Blaze. Evercade and all that gubbins. Yeah, wicked. Then there's your stem guys with the outer sleeve. Again in silver. And it just says, oh. Void special edition and then of course the guys have made it wicked so yeah hmm nothing there nothing there what a wicked thing but let's pull it out and see what you actually get so that is empty now the slip case is empty so we'll put him aside so anyway it's a, a double unboxing in it because now we've got the game to unbox as well because that is still under wrap there we're going to put him aside a minute because yeah we've got this guys haven't we for a start it looks like we have a poster oh god my hands are slightly shaking guys i love this i absolutely love this when they include these things it's just incredible it really really is right, let's see how big this poster actually is shall we there we go does it open up anymore i don't think so but there you go look at that pizza that is cool i love that what's on the other side aha on the other side we have this which is cool as well look at that wicked sort of like laying about outside of a vending machine and a doorway yeah that is very cool i love that poster wicked i'm trying to push it down a bit so you can see more of it there we go wicked so that's already a fantastic start that you get that poster but then we have this as well guys it is 
the full void art book. So, right, I think I'm going to position myself a little bit better. Uh, yeah, and we'll take a look at this, shall we? Back in a second. Right, here we go, guys. I positioned myself a bit better so you can see this in its full glory. The art of full void. Let's have a look at the back first. Just has the uh, the makers on the back there. So out of the bit. And the company behind this, not for sale. There we go, wicked. Let's put it in there again so that when I open it, you can see it all in its glory. So right, okay. I'm gonna to have to pick it up again, guys, to actually get into this thing in the first place. And what do we start with here? Let's have a look. It's straight in. Oh yes, it's straight in, guys. Here we go. So you can see all the artwork here from the actual game, which just looks absolutely stunning. It really, really does look very stunning. So that was one and two. There's quite a lot of pages, guys. It's a big old book. Look at that. Here we go. It's literally loads of screenshots or snapshots if you like of the actual game i think that is tremendous <laughs> this is here my god does this look gritty and dark and oh just what i love in a game almost uh, cyberpunk stroke horror utopian all that guys and here we go oh look at this look now we've got some yesterday and today we got some info here wow that is awesome let's carry on there we go modern pixel art because that is the joy of these kinds of games guys is that it's a throwback to a period in video game time an older simpler time really in a lot of ways but in a modern game so here we go standing out so it's lots of info i'm not going to go into all that obviously otherwise this video will be about three hours long and there we go blending 2d 3d wicked absolutely wicked at first i thought they were just going to show you a lot of stills but now there is actually loads of info and what have you here as you can see about character designs of the boogeyman wicked what do we have here the original <laughs> Pelago <laughs> i can never say that word right the original hero there we go the everyday hero cool all the characters guys wicked and here we go wow so here we are <laughs> key art and logo so yeah there's your cover of course Wait, oh no it's not the cover it's actually almost reverse well we're gonna have to check that out aren't we when we open the actual game and uh, pull the cover out and see if there's a different one behind because sometimes they are there buried away yeah all the different logos of the full void image and we're into here <laughs> matter of perspective And there we go again, wicked. Now we can't go through the whole book, guys, because I think you might get a bit fed up. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip through quick here. Maybe we'll do the whole book, I just won't keep talking. Yeah, that is beautiful, look at that, wow. What a book, guys. Oh, I love that they do this, with these bigger images here. That is so cool, look at that one. Wow. Like I said, so cyberpunky. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. We're at the back. So we did do the whole book, so that's good. So yeah, that is the art book, guys. Very, very cool indeed. Oh, I'm so glad I got the special edition. 
Thank you, Steve. Shout out to my dear friend, Steve. Because it's because of him that I actually knew they were back on sale. So I've got to say thank you so much to my dear, dear friend, Steve. Right, let's put him aside and pull this one in. So yeah, so we've looked at the art book, guys. Now we need to look at the actual game cartridge, don't we? And it's, it's box and what are we? Right, I'm going to reposition again so we can see a bit better. Right, here we go, guys, with the actual cartridge and box. Well, as you can see, guys, it's still end at the special edition because it says, even on this box, it says, includes a full void art book. And then up there, you can see again, Evercade, full void special edition. So yeah, very, very cool, that cover again. There we go, hopefully you can see it, even with the plastic on. And the back, again, guys, there we go. It's pretty much what it said on the back of the slip case. And then here we have, again, cartridge 32, Evercade, all void special edition, written down the stem of this as well. So yeah, even the box is, the actual box is uh, aimed at the special edition. So. Here we go, this is what I mean by double unboxing because I've got to get into this one now. This one's a bit easier because obviously it's a hard plastic case for a start, although I don't want to get marks on that either. I'm hoping that we're in. We are in, but can I grab the plastic? That is the thing, you can look at my big stupid hand. Here we go guys, we're in. We're into this one, that was a lot easier. <laughs> That's a good job I did get the old trusty dusty knife out, wasn't it? So there we go again, guys. Oh, it's off. Put him back in. There we go. So, what do we get in this box? Is there any other little treats in here? You never know. Especially where Evercade's concerned. Sometimes you get stickers. Sometimes you get a poster. But we've already got the poster, haven't we? So we won't probably get that. But yeah, now you can see it all a bit better again. There we go. Just like that at the bottom. Again, oh, he does look a bit um, like he's been tortured. Look at him, tortured soul. But right, let's see what we're getting here. How are you ready? One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Oh my word, look at that, guys. You get some stickers. Oh, this just gets better by the minute. Look at that. Oh, wow, well, I expect this comes in every copy of Full Void whether you buy the uh, regular vanilla or not. Oh, that is cool. So there's, uh, yeah, five stickers on that, obviously the Paul Void logo. And then the others there, Wicked. Oh, that is so flipping cool. I can't tell you. I love it, love it, love it when you get these bits so much. Well, I'll put that aside. Then we'll take a look at the book. Oh no, there's something else there, guys. Look at this. What is this? It's the prologue. Wow. Oh my word, it's like a little comic, guys. Look at that. Oh my god, I, I'm just about jumping with joy here. I'm not saying like it, but I am. Oh, this is just totally awesome. Wow. Like a mini, a mini comic. I love it. So they give you the story in comic format. Oh. Oh dear me, wow, okay, put him aside as well. Oh, it just keeps giving guys, and here's the irregular book here, wow. Look at this. So yeah, there we go, look, it's telling you introduction and all that. Wow, again, some art bits and the characters and whatever, I'm not going through the whole book this time, guys. But yeah, what a fantastic book. Again, and there's a list of loads of Evercade cartridges that are also available, and back shows off the EXP, of course. Retro Gaming leveled up. Wow, and of course, the website, wicked. So yeah, what a beautiful book. Again, guys, I keep saying this, the boxes and the book are so reminiscent of, of course, uh, Mega Drive and uh, Master System games. 
So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, very, very cool. Now, of course, this is the other picture that was in the art book, isn't it? Because that one's your cover. There we go. And that one's the other image. So that was for the actual book. So yeah, fantastic. Right, we'll put him aside as well. And then, of course, we're going to take a look at the cartridge. He says, if he can get it out. Seems to be quite tight in there. Tighter than usual. But a blue cartridge, guys. I love that. Look at that. Blue. Full void special edition with that fantastic image there as well. Just absolutely awesome. Cartridge 32 and all that. Yeah, beautiful looking. I've said this a million times, guys. I love these cartridges because they remind me so much of the days of Game Boy Advance and so on. And then here, oh, look at that full void there. And of course, Blaze embossed on the back. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous thing this is. But you know what I need to do now, guys? I need to grab my EXP, shove it in there and see what you get on this fantastic oh, cartridge, guys. Whether it's the uh, standard vanilla or the special edition like this. Right, back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys. I have grabbed the beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous Evercade EXP. So, let's flip him round. There we go. Oh, what a gorgeous machine this is, guys. It gives me goosebumps just looking at it. So, get your cartridge and shove it in the back. Let's see if it's a tight fit. No, it's not good. Ah, that was satisfying. But also, really, really pulling on my OCD with that blue, with the white. Ugh, I've got to turn it around and forget about it. Right, okay. I do love the colour of the cartridge. Just I never like these combos. I don't like two colours together. Like I said, it knocks my OCD quite heavily. Right, let's see. Have I got any charge in this beastie? That is the question. Have I or have I not? Oh, this is such a gorgeous unit. I might as well have a quick look around it, haven't I? Oh, beautiful. Look at it. Those shoulder buttons are to die for. What a gorgeous, gorgeous unit it is. But right, okay, let's uh, turn it on, he says. Get the right one. Let's see if it's going to come on. Hopefully it's got charge in it. There we go. I was starting to worry there. Oh, what, I didn't have charge in it. Right, here we go, guys. Let's pull it in a bit for you. Obviously, we can't play the whole game, can we? But we're going to have a quick look. I am going to do a longer play on later in another video. We haven't got a great deal of battery. Two bars, but it'll do. But there you go, guys. There is the game. Come up here. Wicked. Look at that, it is awesome, awesome. And I love the OS music there. Right, let's go into it though. And have a look at its uh, bits and bobs it tells you. It tells you what it is here. It's from 2023, yeah, it's that recent guys, it's this year. It's a puzzle platformer for one player. Oh, now my dear, dear friend, John, Crazy Burger here on YouTube. He has highly, highly recommended this game to me. He says it's fantastic. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to Evergate, Evercade, Evercade, hmm, Evercade, um, yeah, anything John says has got to be right in my opinion. Ha 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 ha. So right, yeah, so that gives you a bit of the uh, story there. Let's go in. There we are. I'll let you read that guys, pause if you need longer as usual. We go down to history. There we go. And Cuddy says. <laughs> I love how it says that. In this game, even the cutscenes aren't safe. To be ready at a moment's notice. 
to avoid danger. Cool. Well, okay, so we'll go back. Let's go down to controls. So it looks like it's pretty simple controls. What were your D pad? A jump. B action. X action. Right, okay. And start pause. That's it. That's your lot. Right, okay. So we'll go back again and we'll go into it and play this thing. Right, are we ready for this beautiful game? By all accounts, because I haven't played it yet. Here we go. Keeps focusing in and out, I do apologise. Wow, love that already guys, look at that. So you got start, you got achievements, you got settings and quit. Wow, brilliant. Right, okay. Do we press a literal start? I presume so do we? Let's have a look. And no, it is the button. There we go, look, it's showing you the VS controller there. What controls you need? Cool. Oh my god, what a fantastic art style. Gorgeous. Run! It's coming for you. And fall over, of course. As you do. You always got to fall over, haven't you? Or run to the top of a building. Does that mean I've got to get up now? Yes, it does. So, very cool there. So yeah, you're lying on your face, and that's when it takes over, look, ooh, the cinematic, I see what they mean now, look, it's killed me already, I think. Oh, how annoying, so I'm going to fall flat on my face again. Okay, then I need to get up, and start running, how do we run, like that, yeah? Cool, so yeah, I see what they mean about, be careful with the cinematics, because he still came after me. Now I'm falling down a bloody pit. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be so much fun, guys. I love it when games are like this. So we've got to get rid of them. You know, we'll get away from the uh, alien, demon, whatever the hell it is. Now I've got to avoid that pit. Let's have a look. That was it's somewhere, on it? Was it here? Yeah. Did I get up there? Yes, just about. Wicked. That is cool. So what's the next obstacle then? Uh, do I ever sit down here? No, just call across. Yeah, okay, cool. That's cool as well, where you interact there. Wicked. And then I can get into the building. Okay, get back up. What's this? Oh, okay. I can crawl on top of a bending machine. Where do I go from here, though? Hmm. Nowhere, obviously. Okay, get up your bugger, where do I go now? There has to be a way of, oh here we go. Oh that's cool. That is fantastic guys, fantastic. Right, so what am I doing here? Putting it together like that, look, and then that just doesn't disappear, but focus in your bugger, come on, focus in. There we are, that's better. Right, so back out. Oh, somebody's watching me from the window there. So we're going to sneak past, I won't get up. Right, now I can get up, can't I? Yeah. What happens now then? Let's see. Anything? Oh, there we go. Aha, we got away from him the way I hope we did. Oh no, he got me. Oh, I don't believe it. How annoying is that? Oh, at least you're back here, look. But he's going to get me again. Do I have to move? I presume so. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I'm loving it already, guys. Loving it. 
There we go. Crouch down, maybe. Yeah, he couldn't get me. Cool. Do I stay crouched down? Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. And I go and bloody fall off because I pressed the wrong button. What fool. Right, here we go. Cool. Then back up. Oh my god, this game's just incredible. Oh, beautiful. Jump down. Yeah, we jump down. Achievement. I, I can't believe it or something, I think it said. Oh, I died though. Oh, bloody hell. What am I supposed to do then? Let's have a look. What am I supposed to do here then? Drop down. No, I died again. Oh dear. But I'll tell you what guys, that's where we're going to leave it because I'm actually going to do a full play on of this thing. But wow, isn't that incredible? But you know what? There's one more thing we need to do. And uh, you'll see what that is in just a sec. Right. Now guys, you may know from my previous videos that I picked these two little beauties up. The Hyper Megatech. Oh, fantastic. Both of these consoles are absolutely fantastic. The Super Pocket. Capcom Edition and Taito Edition. Beautiful. But of course, one of the great joys of this, or these, is that you can, in fact, put in Evercade cartridges. There we are. Oh, he says pulling that down. There we go. There we are, yeah, two cartridge slots right there. But my question is, guys, will Paul Void play in these babies? Well, shall we start with hmm, the Capcom edition? So yes, guys, just pull out your uh, dust cover kind of thing that it is. There we go. Just pull that out like that. There we are. Cool. Again, shaped like an EverK cartridge as well, but it is empty, of course. Right. Grab your copy of Full Void. There we go. Full Void. And slam it in there. Let's see. First of all, if it will work on this little unit here. Right, here we go. Turn it on. And we shall see. Will it work? Will it work? Please work. There we go, guys. Let's do it now. And have we got two choices? Right, okay, so we've got to go to the menu. There we go. And it's got the Evercade symbol there. There we go, so go in. And yes, it's there, guys. It's there, wicked. Let's see if it boots. Yes, it does. So that is very very cool and look at that gorgeous screen guys wow what a beautiful beautiful screen on this thing but yes there we go guys it does indeed boot up so that is absolutely brilliant but now it's time to test it on the Taito unit so take your cart out he says if you can there we go out put that one back in there we go, he says. Right, and we'll put him down there like that. We'll grab this one. Here we go. And yeah, let's see, guys. Will it go in here and will it play? Because sometimes things can be a bit of a tight fit. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the colour scheme isn't actually that bad, is it? Look at that one. That's, that's not too bad. They're both a type of blue, aren't they, really? Yeah, but right, we're in. But guys, like the Capcom unit, will it boot up and be there? So right, here we go. Let's find out. Will it work on the Taito unit? Yep, we're in. Let's go. There and it's certainly showing that there's an Evercade cartridge leg. Let's go for it and yay! Of course it works, it works on the other one, why wouldn't it, eh? There we go. 
Brilliant, let's boot it up again. Wicked. Slightly out of focus, but it is there, guys. Wicked. So yes, it does work in both these units. Oh, I had to put it to the test, guys, but let's turn that off. Check that out. He says, if he can, there we go. Put that one back in, like this. There we are. And put him down there. So yes, guys, absolutely full void. Works in both the Hyper Megatech Super Pockets. So the Capcom Edition and the Taito Edition. So that's kind of bloody cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right. Now, for my final thoughts as I lay it all back out again. Wicked. Oh, this has been one wonderful experience. There we are, guys, all laid back out again. And I'll tell you what, oh my God, this has blown me away. This is definitely my favourite Evercade cartridge. Certainly, for what you get with it, hey, this special edition is wonderful. And the game, what I've played of it up to now, is wonderful as well. But guys, keep an eye out for that longer play video, of course, coming up. But let's just talk about what you get in the box, guys. The stickers. Oh, fantastic. The uh, Prologue comic. Wonderful. The blue cartridge. Love it. Even though, like I said, it does affect my OCD when it's in my EXP. Then, oh man, the actual book that you get. Wonderful again. They are always fantastic to get them in the box, guys. Like I said, a throwback to the old days. That art book is gorgeous. What a wonderful thing that is. Very, very thick, really, considering. And just wonderful. Shame it didn't have a hardback. But uh, never mind, we can forgive that. Uh, and the poster, again, just a fantastic touch. The uh, slipcase, wonderful as well. And then, as usual, guys, you've got the uh, the actual uh, game box as well, which is wonderful. Again, a throwback. Now, there's one thing I didn't do yet, which I did say I was going to do earlier, and that is take a look at that cover and see if it's reversible because sometimes they are and sometimes they're not all i have to do is go like that guys and i can tell you it's not there we are simple as that it's not reversible shame but um again who cares when you get all that oh what a fantastic fantastic uh, thing this is full void special edition and I'll tell you what, if you get your box standard edition, you're not going to be disappointed either. I absolutely assure you, because that game is beautiful. Watch out for everything, like it said, even the cutscenes, and they ain't shit in other. You really do. Mm. Beautiful. But it's over to you guys. What do you think of this special edition of the Evercades Full Void? Do you think you get enough in there to warrant the extra because i tell you what when i run out they weren't half selling for prices they were selling for up to like 95 pound on ebay guys so i hope all those dirty little resellers are really gonna trip themselves up now and be stuck with them because that's what these kinds of people deserve because <laughs> they take it away from the collector's market guys they buy them up and then they charge extortionate prices and uh, a sensible collector wouldn't pay that and would wait wouldn't they and see what happens but some other people they're foolish and they will buy it um but yeah oh, over to you guys will you be picking it up will you be picking up the standard edition or won't you be picking it up at all because it doesn't float your boat? I'll tell you what, it reminds me of games like Another World. It really, really does. It's that kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. 
and another world's wonderful as well so you can imagine i love this type of game but it's over to you guys get commenting and let me know your thoughts on this and uh yeah wow with that guys i'm going to wrap things up and i'm going to say the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a bummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and of course tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever and again guys if you love love emulation and retro systems i have a fantastic group for you on facebook it is called the retro emulation and systems fan group and with 5,000 members you can't go wrong plenty of people to banter with tons of content from system unboxing system reviews emulation performance tech help videos and a whole lot more and again the world's greatest admin team behind us as well so if you love all that link below head over We'd love to see you. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, guys, from the dawn of gaming, with Pong machines, right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. So, yeah, anything goes there as long as it's gaming. And again, ever growing member base, wonderful admin team, and tons of content because of the YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, as well as myself, of course. So, if that interests you, also linked below then finally guys i have my channel membership for as little as 99 pence a month you can become a member of the uk kraut family this will give you access to the members only videos it will also get you a badge in the comments next year name that changes color every month and lets everybody know that you are a member of the uk kraut family there is other tiers with other perks attached guys so you just find that join button head over take a look and see what you think with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. And so, I'll be the same. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.